Hey guys, I am using another, this is a Paige Evans cut file actually. It's not Pear Tree this time, this one's a Paige Evans one. I am doing a super simple, I just wanted to get back to basics and create a layout with these awesome paints. These are Montmartre paints, they are metallic. They're called metallic acrylic intro set. I've got the small ones and these are just acrylic paint but as you can see when you add um acrylic paint to white sorry scratch that rewind if you add a metallic paint to white you get shimmer but you don't get the color payoff so if you add it to black as you can see here add it to black sorry my voice has gone croaky this morning and i don't know why um if you add it to black, you get a real punch, like it's it's really in your face. And I decided that I would you just create my own background. And some weeks I really like doing that. Some weeks I prefer to do um, lots of pattern paper. Sometimes I prefer just to start from scratch and just think of something myself. I had to find a bigger brush because if I painted that whole thing with a small brush, it would have taken me days. Now. As you can see, this is actually quite a thin consistency paint. It's not super duper thick. And I don't know why I'm holding the paintbrush like that, but I am. And there we go, fixed it up. <laughs> I don't know what I was doing there. Um, so I just pulled out four of the main, like the four main colors in it, which is the purple, the magenta, the, oh, what are the colors actually called? Hold that thought. Don't mind me, just reaching to the other side of the room. Okay, so the colours are magenta. Um, th th I can't pronounce it. Thylo green, thylo blue, and there's a purple and I can't see it. Give me a second, this might be noisy. Uh, oh, purple's called purple. Shock horror. Purple's purple. So the green I felt was, a, the green and the pink seemed to be a little bit thinner. I don't know why that is, but that's how they sort of looked. But I love the gloss and the shimmer and the shine. Now a trick when you're doing something like this and you're using, I'm using mint tape, which is fantastic. Um, and peel it off while your paint's still a little bit damp. Otherwise, it will dry and it will crack the edge, if that makes sense. So you won't get a nice, perfect edge. I didn't get a perfect edge. There is a bit on the blue that is not perfect. It did sort of bleed a little bit there. I obviously didn't stick it down properly. Now, I go ahead and I air dry this. And then I thought to myself, I wonder if I could make it bubble and blister like I do with the Luna paste. And guess what? You can. It's pretty cool. I love that effect. I don't know what it is at the moment, but I love it. It doesn't emit any smells or anything weird when you do it. And it looks, fan I just love that little bit of texture. So I didn't want to add a lot of anything to this page. I did have to do a second coat over the green and I think I did a little bit more over the other colors as well. But once it's dry, dry, it doesn't blister. It's the same as the Lunar Paste. Once it's completely dry, it doesn't do that. But as you can see, it's just adding a nice sort of very fine blistery texture and it feels amazing. I love it. I, I'm all about the feels. I just... It, it's just, that's what I love about mixed media. Some people dislike it because of the, the textures and the, um, the feel of the paint. They don't like it. I'm the polar opposite. I absolutely love that side of things. So as you can see here, I'm just adding a little bit extra color on there so that I can get that blistered look to travel down for me. I got it to do it there on the blue. Then I realized, I don't know why I wasted my time because I'm putting my photo over that area, but it's okay. 
it added an extra little bit of something to the page. Now you can see how it just blisters up just in a few spots. I didn't go, I didn't go over the top with it, but it did work nicely. I loved it. So, and I'm just adding, because I've got the paint sitting there. I can't put it back in the tube. So I've just thought I'd go over and just add a little bit extra here and there where, where possible. So, <clears throat> Excuse me, I've got a frog in my throat this morning. I don't know why. I probably snored like a freight train last night. That's probably what it is, if I'm honest. But, yeah. So, um, let me see. So, that's where I got to this point. Then I thought, I want to showcase as many of the colours out of this particular colour pack. That I possibly can. Now this, I know you don't see me using a ruler very often, especially for measurements. You do see me use the T-square ruler to get things flat, but I don't measure very much. When you're doing something like this, you got to measure because if you don't, <laughs> you're going to get to the end and you're going to go, oh, what? That doesn't look right. So yeah, I look personally, I measured my gap there between my tape and the mica, the painted section. I don't know why I keep saying mica. I've got mica on the brain today. So I pulled out my new darkroom door stencil. It's a 9x6 stencil and it's called Creativity. I did get this one in the design team pack last month from Crazy Craft Obsession. I know they do have... Um, this one still in stock so if you want to grab it duck over there and grab it i absolutely i love these stencils these darkroom door stencils are something else they really are they are brilliant they might not be your two dollar stencil from kmart but i tell you what they're awesome i'm blending two different colors together i'm blending the gold and the copper to give you a little bit of variation through and I did spray this stencil by the way I've sprayed the back of this stencil to hold it down because I find when you're doing words you want a nice crisp edge on your words and spraying your stencil works I use the um spray adhesive by crafter's choice that's the one that I use Apologies, I'm thirsty. It's driving me crazy this morning. So, um, yeah, I did that and I added... I'm sorry, I've got so many things going on. Just focus on the video, Karen. So, I mixed those. I love how that turned out. If you take nothing else from the video, combine two different metallic paints with some words and it gives it, it gave me that 80s vibe. <laughs> I know it's crazy because these this photo is not from the 80s, but um, it gave me the 80s vibe as I was doing this. Believe it or not, I was actually listening to John Farnham at the time. If you're an Aussie, you'll know John Farnham. Um, if you're from overseas, if you don't know John Farnham, he is an absolute bloody legend from Australia. He is an Aussie icon. He's a singer. He has the most amazing songs. His voice, well, he's literally known as The Voice. Um, he is... Leave me a comment below if you agree with me. John Farnham is amazing. I have got such a broad range of music that I like and enjoy. And John Farnham heavily imprinted on me when I was a younger child. Absolutely loved John Farnham. Still do, still do. And he's actually recently, for everyone else that's not from Australia, he's actually recently gone f through a bit of a health issue. He had cancer in his jaw or his mouth. Um, and I believe he's doing much better the, now. He's, he's on the mend and all the rest of it. Very, very private person, which I absolutely love because... Going back to the 70s and 80s and the 90s, like to be private 
and be a celebrity or to be a singer. Those two things just don't go hand in hand. So I think that makes him all the more amazing to me. So just a little bit of a tangent there, guys. I just thought I'd chuck that one in. As you can see, I'm just using a, um, one of my makeup sponges and sponging these colors onto my letters that go in my title. That's all I'm doing. So, um, so yeah, let me know. Do you like John Farnham? I mean, not, not everyone would, I imagine, but I... I love him. I think he's fantastic. I, my music tastes, I love everything from Pink to obviously John Farnham to Cold Chisel, Jimmy Barnes. Absolutely love his voice. Um, Shannon Knoll. Um, who else do I love? Adam Lambert. Uh, Trace Adkins. Like, there's there's complete polar opposites, right? Um, Trace Atkins, my favorite... Oh, I can't believe I've skipped over this one. My favorite all-time singer, Keith Urban. Uh, he is... He is amazing. I absolutely love his ability to... His ability to play guitar. If you have not seen him live, his guitar playing ability is bar none he is amazing and I know a lot of people I, look he went to my high school I absolutely if that's not the reason I don't think he's hot controversially I don't I just am in awe of his ability to play guitar banjo you know all of the all of the string instruments he's amazing he's so good uh, who else do I love music wise? I, I like sharing things that play people that I like. Uh, James Johnson. I do like him. Uh, Ed Sheeran. I like Ed Sheeran. Um, Trace Atkins is amazing. Um, Dolly Parton, Miley Cyrus. I mean, I just have such a broad range. But then you go into your Midnight Oil, your Def Leppard, um, Black Sabbath, Motley Crue. Like, my range of music is off the charts. My kids never know one day to the next. Morgan Evans, my kids never know what's going to be playing in the car. And then they'll jump in, I'll whack Lady Gaga on or something like that, you know? Like, it's just, it's it's funny it's really funny listening to my in, insane range of music that I love. Music is a big part of me. I love music. It's the creativity side of me. I love my music. And um, yeah. So now I've waffled a little bit. Can you see how it's coming together? So the layout is... I'm loving how it's coming together. You've got that big piece of that big triangle piece and you sort of at the beginning you were probably thinking well, where's this going the words balance the words at the top the words at the bottom they they're just creative words but it's coming together and then it was at this point that I went okay we need to do some faux stitching with a silver Posca paint pen because that will help finish off that triangle and help polish it all off so that's what I ended up doing and I absolutely love how it finishes off so thank you for listening to my waffle about my favorite music people bands singers etc and yeah let me know does this layout remind you of the 80s you know with all the oh what was the you know like the parachute material tracksuits do you remember those anyone Look, if you're under 30, you're not going to get this. But if you have not had to wear a Technicolor shirt or a and try not to make it look like you're sweating, which is just crazy, flip that. If you have never had to wear one of those parachute material tracksuits that every step you can hear it, please don't ever complain about your childhood. <laughs> Here it is, guys, showing you up close. You can see I did the gold in the center of the copper and it gives it a different feel. 
and you can see all the little bits of texture from blistering the paint a little bit it doesn't come off it stays on there but it just has a little bit of a bubble to it and you can see how the gold and the copper on the words on the side it gives it that sort of movement so give it a try let me know if it's something that you like if you will give it a try thank you so much for watching don't forget if you're getting value from my videos like subscribe leave me a comment all that helps my channel out and it's all free thanks so much guys chat to you soon bye for now